death to know. Know first and then death. The number of broken hearts in church because of dating to know. My friend, mkoto pale ushit lakini umsa to kanda yako alikuvunja roho hadi akafanya ushit. Yaani alivunja kai crash. Akaitupa. You know, you know what you're doing? We are practicing divorce. So when I'm with you for for a month, I'm in a book. Do you know why? We are not compatible. We don't understand each other. So we don't get married. We don't match. Because ah, we 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 don't have a future. We we don't have a future. We don't match. So you're teaching your heart as early as young you are that when I'm in marriage and things don't work out, there's a room to work out. Hmm? Not there to know. No fast. As I say. In Christian circles, come up, specialize. I mean, socialize first, but don't specialize. Socialize, know each other, know someone from five meters away. In quotes, and look at how she she talks to people, how she serves, how she talks, how she responds. How is he a leader? Is he a man of his word? Look from afar, go answer. No, the is he a disciple of Christ? Because I mean, as a manga, me, I'm not a Christian. What is a Christian? It's, 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 it's a good name. It's a good name. By the way, the word Christian was not a good word. It's a, it's a mockery. Let to reach. Nikama, nikama cross. Cross was not a good thing, but to catch, to embrace. Okay. Saying the they were first called and disciples. The Christ, the way you walk, the way you talk, you like that Christ of you. As you guys are Christians, but the name they gave themselves was what? Disciples. A disciple. If if, if you if you study who a disciple is, my friend, Christian kuna 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 great years. But a disciple, you give your life for your master. You lay down your life for your master. You are a disciple of Christ. But they all of them were eleven of them. One who survived <laughs> naturally, peacefully. I'm not only mad, though. They were on fire for Christ. Okay. So, to avoid being a serial dater, <laughs> no, a serial dater. When I date you, ah, when I ask, when I go to you, ah, we are partner. When I go to you, I can't go. To avoid being a serial dater or a serial heartbreaker, avoid. Dating to know, know before you date, and knowing to date is knowing to date for the purposes of nothing else but marriage. Most oh, yes. young people, if today the person you 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 you're in a dating, they discuss the person you're dating. If I bring, if we give you a house, a car, and a man to begin life, are you ready today to get married, Cindy? Right now, the person you are dating, and you are mature age, you know, you are more mature than you. If we give you a house, we give you a car, we give you money to begin life. Are you ready to, to marry today? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. If not, one of you is wasting each other's time. Yes. yes. Unless your relation is geared towards marriage. By the way, Joseph and Mary. Bible says Joseph was be. Throat. Be throat. Be throat. Be throat. Be throat to Mary. They were courting, but in the eyes of Joseph, I want to do do what secretly. Originally to Mary, to divorce. Bible says he had in his mind to secretly divorce. Now Joanna. So in the mind of the Lord, the hearts of people are so precious to be played around with. When you make a commitment to the Lord and to this person you are quoting, I'm trusting God that you and me will walk this walk until we get married. God looks at that as a serious thing. It's better to, it's better to break off a relationship than marriage. Okay, it's not a bad statement but it's a serious one it's a dangerous statement it's dangerous you grow into character and behavior i want you to be very careful be 
before you say, I want to decode you, let you have a mind that is saying, this is someone's daughter, this is someone's son, this is the son and daughter of God. As a steward right now, am I doing anything that the Lord will not be proud of? Not my parents, not my friends, the Lord. Uksama Kirsama, go ahead. Let's not be like one of the people, I mean the, the people of the world. Let's have a different standard. You know what the, the number plate for a Christian is? What's our number plates? By this one thing, Christ said, people will know you are my disciples. If you do what? Love one another. Agape love. Agape love. Okay? So, we quote. Don't quote to know. Don't know to quote. I'm going to quote to know. I'm going to Yeah, so don't date to know. No, before you, you date. But then what we call dating right now actually is actually testing. T A S T E. What you call dating is testing time for selfish fleshly desires. We test here, are you your salt too much? salt. That's too bad for me. You go test here, you should get you should be cochini. I don't take that. Ah, you got us We are testing. We are selfish. We want something that can fit our taste buds of sin. That's what we call dating. Yet God calls us to testing with His Word. The Bible says, First John verse four, dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see if they are from. So you test the spirit by God's word, by, by praying, by fasting. That's how you test if this person is for you, not by holding hands and kissing and pecking. Okay? 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 You kiss many frogs, my friend. And still marry a frog. <laughs> you don't change. So unless you go God's way, you'll have a very difficult time. So, so, so we need to test every spirit and not we need to test every spirit and not test every person. Hello? Test every spirit, not test every person. We are of the church. We are spiritual beings. Living in a body. We're not about living in a spiritual tent. To me, Lawana? Okay. So I said socialize first. In Christian circle, don't specialize. After you socialize, you see, ah, kuna vile, eh, okay, oh, mm mm, anakani. Now, you can try and go ahead. So, so, okay, how many of us here are, are married? You are married. Married people, married people, but we shall notice. Go, but I'm one of you. We shall notice. We can come and come. I talk about church. We say, how many of you are married? How many single? Yeah. What in a corner? If you, when you put a cash table, what are you doing? Eh? Paka do, paka do. Single and ngoba. Hi, you go. Uko akuna life. Fatcha ni bagi wa maniko. Uko akuna life. Eh? Okay. How many, how many of us are engaged or courting? If you're careful, you're some dating, dating in another, in another timeline. Courting, you make a date. We should care about marriage. How many are engaged or courting? One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, come on, join me. How many of us are single? And waiting. <laughs> How many of us are single and waiting for 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 him or her? A single and waiting. You know, what you know, you know, single and waiting. Amen. Waiting 
for him or her in the Lord. Obviously, I don't Let us be a Christian waiting for him or her in the Lord. Ah, so. I do jib bado na goja pe. Mujambi wa bado. Wale bado kura ije iko kwa nini bado kwa hapa tu. Wana sort out kura bado. Okay. Sera, uza kuzuri. How many of us now? Seriously. How many of us are single and frustrated? Yeah. They are a lot. They can't even dance but to go in. Single and frustrated means I've done this thing countless time. Give me the same result and done I'm tired they are not in charge na jabiri kuna mtu huko nje watu wa kanisa tu bado yeye tu hizo mkono single and frustrated how many of us are single and favorite word single and content single and content single and content basi joni basi kuna 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 single content this is why i have gone on that pyramid kuna reason kwa nini okay now before i i i i i break the the, the last word of single and content there are reasons why guys are single sindio yes. like point is zero zero point is zero point is zero not the capital this is this is how many of us are, eh? why are we single for those of us who are single or single and waiting or single and content oh, you can't find the right match yeah improving yourself personally yeah that's another one baby improving yourself as i yes any other Men are the problem. Toxic masculinity. Mm. Tabita pia hizo. Modernity in dating, modernity in, in relationships. Toxic femininity, toxic masculinity. Tukama hizo. Now, according to me, to my mm, what I be as I'm speaking, I think there are three reasons why people are single. Okay? Number one, it's a season. It's a season. The Bible says there's a season and time for yeah. everything. The times you're just single and you have no outer of wanting a man or a woman. Nani? Oh, sawa. Kuna time kama hizo. Okay? Oi, okay, kuna nyakuta. Oi, they kwa na hizo, at least na kuanga. Eh? Tabia hiyo is just a season. Either you're too much in your books or you're too much in in your that time you're just single. It's a season. But seasons don't stay forever. They come and go if it rains for the next one year we die yes we will die the amount of floods that will take the whole world rains for one year we are we are and it can be back to what rainy season for one year we are gone okay if it's sunny for one year the whole world we die so a season is for a specific amount of time including us as people So if your singleness does not have a limit you need to discuss something somewhere Anyway every season is a preparation for the next season In the dry season we prepare the ground and wait for the rainy season So if you're a single person you're in a season to prepare yourself spiritually physically mentally socially for the next season that the Lord will give you you don't know which season that is he knows but you prepare yourself for whatever season he brings you way okay to myself maybe ni kosiko kuna baki hiyo prepare you yourself number two there are people who are single because of consequences your single is that about a consequence this may be um, physical emotional mental or even a time spiritual abuse so something made you like ah wache kai ile kumyo ile mumizwa niko sawa hata roho yangu ishaisha mmepeana paka imeisha iko there's nothing here damu ina pinga tu express kuna hakuna roho inapitanga tu ikienda so you're single because things happen to you 
and you're guarding yourself, you're protecting your heart from any other danger. Okay? Or it can be cause of feminism, feminists. What a man can do, I can do better. Mm -hmm. eh? A man can't tell me anything. Eh? I'm as a man like, I'm not chauvinist, feminist. You, you, you know, we, I'm not talking about feminism. I'm talking about feminine. So you're confused. Being feminine is awesome. Feminine, femininity are the attributes that you confer upon a lady. You, 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 you are motherly. You are kind. You know how to nurture. Okay? You know how to 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 to. to you like an incubator. You can nurture an idea into growth. Okay? Feminists are different from feminine people. It's confused. Feminists, you know what that means? A feminist. Definition of feminist. I'm not going to size. Okay, the rights of women. But we a human rights activist. <laughs> rights of women and women, of, of women and and, yeah. and girls. Okay, kuna your definition. Ingine. Even men can be feminist. Even men can be feminist. You you fight for the rights of women and men and, and child and children. Is the is the activity right? I would try such a feminist if you can calculate it. Feminist, mm. an advocate for an advocate of women's rights on the basis of equality of the sexes. Feminist, Oxford Dictionary. Due to center of topic. When God confers upon us time, we'll come and, and, and talk and discuss about modernism in relationships. We talk about feminists, we talk about chauvinists, um, we talk about uh, these other things, uh, LGBTQ plus I. Okay? It's a very wide topic to see, 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 Season number two, consequence number three, can be a gift of celibacy. Equal the Bible. Eunuchs. How many of us are eunuchs? Mungu ame kwekilea mkono ya uta wawa paka. Wende ni. Hakuna, hakuna haba. Say, you go Catholic, hakuna sister haba and hakuna brother. No. No that gifting here. <laughs> so there is no gift of celibacy in this room. <laughs> celibacy is abstaining from marriage or any sexual relations in order to pursue, not to be dumb, to be idle, in order to pursue the Lord in, in furthering his kingdom. You are sold to the kingdom of God with your marriage life. Because Paul said, if you're single, Stay so. If you're married, stay so. Yeah. Because when you're single, you have time to do A, B, C, D. When you're married, you have other responsibilities. So to men, uh, God, 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 Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you. Amen. It's a good, it's a good gift. But there are many in the world here. Wako, wako ukweli, kuna ukweli, and they're doing a lot of, of stuff. So, so, so just know where you are, right? So that you're not confusing what you're doing. So I said this, the last person was single and content. Now, 
Why do we confer contentment to singleness peke yake? Like when you're single and not searching or not waiting then you're single and content. Contentment is not tied to a season of life. Contentment is a, it needs to be a constant that needs to be throughout your life. Whether you 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 you're single and searching you need to be content. Whether you're single and waiting you need to be content. Whether you're married you need to be content. Contentment is not a, a by the way it's a virtue of a Christian. So there is flawed narrative because I'm single and not searching then I'm content. Uh-uh. Contentment cuts across every season of your life. Amen. Now Let's talk about married dog for those who are courting and dating looking forward to her. how many of us are looking forward to get married one day? I want to marry. How many of us are looking forward to get married? Okay. How many of us are married and looking to get out? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so, so now let's talk about I love talking about marriage. But in the first time you know, we normally talk about marriage with older people when you go on door 10, 20, 30 years, at least up to go. Now and to give a different picture about marriage so that when you're getting into it we know what you're getting into okay so so now this time you are single or you're courting and dating what are you doing in preparation for your marriage number one are there any steps you're taking into place to prepare for marriage because you bring who you are into your marriage you and your suitcase of your life <laughs> with all your triumphs and failures with your weaknesses and strengths with your degrees and certificates with your phd's you bring everything you have yourself to marriage with your assumptions with your cultures with your belief you but then you bring everything you have or you are into what marriage is like for example I come with the, there's, there's a talk normally the one that we do it here on the altar it's called the altar bed that talk when, when, when your husband is here waiting for you husband to be he has his suitcase but you can't see it he has his suit atabe bini kadha you are coming with the suitcase so go as you can so you come the suitcases amzioni nawana leo he he mnachangana mnazibeba moni mndanazo when you fika your hotel room for Johanna and staff up to Brazil Fungonga Maracons and what you find in those suitcases my friend only god knows so don't think marriage is an abstract thing you are the one with the marriage so you bring yourself and everything you have what into into marriage and let me tell you as single people who are waiting who are courting it does not matter another quote it doesn't matter how much you wait as long as as you have a lot of weight that you haven't dealt with it makes no sense the time of waiting is a time for god to deal with your weight if of anger issues god deal with your anger issues if you don't trust men god deals with that issue in you Waiting is not for the sake of waiting it's for the sake of removing the weights from your life. Ni mtu kwa tu. But the will of God is pojan taole. Unafanya nini sasa hizi? What are you doing? Because time by itself is obscure. Show me time. But how you invest your self into time makes time valuable. So in the meantime unafanya nini? What are you doing? What are you doing? about marriage or you want to get married yeah we use all our resources to prepare for every other thing in life apart from marriage let me give an example because we know the consequences of these other things we invest our time our money our resources into them but because marriage become an another consequence relax kwanga tongana na nini badala let me give you a scenario i think ee genu mulela na sare school sio ndio nyi mko na play group Mulia na playgroup. Kwa ni kwa group of schools. <laughs> so us, listen. Listen. You are born. Your parents. Atawana kwambia, baba, mama, ah. Ba. 
From there you go to pre-unit during our time. No one pre-unit. You go to pre unit. From there you go where? Yeah? To primary. For eight whole years, you are being pumped with information about biology, I mean about books, maths, GHC, home science. For eight years, you are being taught. For eight years, you are being taught in school. Whole eight years. Info. I remember my first day in, in primary school. I can't forget. Me and my she used to go with a desk and your locker. And new, new, it was a new, it was a brand new uniform. And you, class one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years of three terms. <laughs> three terms. Being taught the things of life. Okay? After eight years, <laughs> you get into high school. Another how many years? Four years. Again of three terms. Being taught and pumped. What? Things of school. Things of life, education, chemistry, biology, history, physics. For how many years? Four years. After four years and you passed or you went to parallel, you in your bridge. You go where? Campus. How many years? Minimum of four, maximum of what? Medicine, you got Lawyers, you got Minimum of between four to eight years. Again, big bump with info. Back up at a degree. That's what we call pro. We call a degree, we call the powers conferred upon you to. To do what? To read and write. Not to employ, <laughs> to read and write. Okay? Listen carefully. After your degree or a PhD, you get a job with a manager. But where I sit upon this person, Kwanza, be an apprentice. I'm on probation for one year. Learn the things of this company first. Let's see how you are progressing. And then you come out up. Now you climb the what? The ladder. Even when you're in that body system, your career, you go on and do a PhD. The poor promotions place flag. So for almost you, a quarter of your life, you've been learning for life. For not for life, for career. I'm a little and then you come first to face. Then I ask you, are getting married in the next uh, one year, no, in the next three months or four months, depending how you want. And then you come for counseling. It's sad, by the way, for at least four or five months. And then you say, now I'm ready to get married. No wonder we have successful doctors, surgeons, engineers. We have people who are doing well financially. But there's a stench in marriages that you can't even start. We are not prepared for marriage. Prepared for our careers. How many books have you ever read about marriage? Give me one. Books about marriage. One. It's momentary marriage. Any other person? Sacred marriage. Any other person? To love and to hold. Breath of woman. Wife material. Basics, basics, Ernest one boy, love that guy. So it's good. Marriage? Marriage works. You just get in things work. Eh? Things just work? No. If you are poor, if you took that long for your career, how about your marriage? Those of us who have kids, daughters, sons, 
May we be different with them. Let's do something different with our daughters and sons. Let's prepare them. Okay? How many of us have listened to podcasts about marriage? How many of us have mentor couples who are married? You have someone you're sitting under. And I'm talking about age. Be very careful. Marriage is more about quality than quantity. But if you find someone who has quantity and quality, the better. Okay? And if I'm talking about marriage, I'm talking about a couple who loves the Lord, their God, all their heart, soul, mind, and body, and they love their spouse as they love themselves. Sengai bolo mtu bibi yake ama bwana yake yes he party plan yake okay look for people who are sold out to the lord and sold out for each each other do you have mental couples to get married to okay marriage is not an institution marriage is a is a, it's a fusion of two hearts souls and spirits with the aim of fashioning them into oneness in christ that's marriage that's a marriage is not a contract or a lease but it's a covenant. It's a covenant. Seal the blood. The, 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 the topic we call the, the, the altar. The altar bed. They want to be planned for it. If you see the parallels of the old covenant, or the, of the old covenant with, with um, sexuality right now, the parallels between the altar and the altar. Tamaji. Bila ku sacrifice wanyama. Altar. Between the altar and the bed. The comparison between the altar and the marriage bed. Boss. So if you get sex in your kawaida, ka kunyo maji na disease. It's powerful, my friend. They go, you know why you're supposed to come in white? You know what that symbolizes? Purity. A white lamb without any blemish. You know why the husband stands, stands at the altar? Hmm? King Ojea? He's the priest. Waiting for the lamb. Bro, life is more spiritual than it is physical. You know why what the bed symbolizes? You know why people bleed for the first time they have sex? You know about blood covenants? <laughs> In the screen, in a bus. It's, it's deeper than we think. You know blood speaks? Anyway. So what is marriage? Show me marriage. Me are married. He's, show, show, show us marriage. Me, he's married, he's married. Show, show us, where is marriage? Can you see it? No. Tony Shemi? Mwaza yu ikuwapi? Omiyoni? What is marriage? Can you show me? The same way a building without a school, I mean, the same way a building doesn't make a school, the same way uh, a house doesn't make a marriage. Okay? Another one. Marriage is me. This is, this is marriage. Let me show you about a book I'm writing, which as I say, in that book, marriages don't work. Hello? Show me what that does. Saying marriage works is akin to saying a car drives. A car doesn't drive. A car is driven. Marriage does not work. The next character, you allow the Holy Spirit to work on yourself and marriage takes after your shape. Come and get your point. Marriage does not work. You allow the Holy Spirit to work on yourself, and marriage takes after your ship. Marriage does not fail, you fail, and marriage takes after your ship. Lawana. Ata how you do? Niki boa. Ahumbangi sana lakini. Niki boa nda nda mumbi pa kwa namba vizuri. Amajokoka lakini huu ni kani niki mumbi vizuri. Boss, we 
kama wewe mwenyewe kujichange ni shida wewe kuna time mshindo kujitoa mshindo anaweza behaviors <laughs> you try to loop as they talk kama mwenyewe umejishinda utachangi mtu mwingine aje no one has the capacity to change another person it's only god himself as a fish let me give you an illustration of marriage let me have that kind of that glass of water mm, what time do i have done so yeah yeah okay so this glass here is marriage this not this glass that space in there is marriage you can't i can't give you ah uh, here is your marriage take it take your marriage if i can't give you i can't pour on you i need to marriage it's quite much okay sasa now you are because we are the body of christ we are his brides so we bring who we are into this thing called what marriage so however much you are is what you bring into your marriage the man will leave his father and mother and the two shall become one. one the two shall become one the question i ask married people is which one have you become among the two of you so here right now we become one it's not us if 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 we become me my wife will be frustrated if we become her i'll be what we become one in Christ he's our oneness not us so you come to marriage it's what happens here you are here the space it's what happens so that water now that's marriage whatever shape you come as that's you that's marriage if you come selfish that's marriage if you come angry that's marriage If you come and you're not prayerful and not fasting and not doing that's marriage. Marriage takes after your ship. No marriage never fails we fail. We fail. God has never made a thing that failed. It's God who made what? Marriage. Unless we align by his principles, then it will never never work. Marriage is a reflection of who you are in response to your spouse. It's not what it's not automatic because of time let me finish by saying this may interrupt someone about what mali is if there's one thing i can i can i can finish with this this one go to a fish is it efficiency 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 of colossians Nothing that was efficient. It's um. Colossians. No, it's both. It's both Colossians and Ephesians. But let's start with Ephesians. Ephesians five, chapter twenty-two, verse twenty-five. A very common verse. To Nigeria, San Antonio. It says, "Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the." wife as Christ the head of the church his body of which he is the savior now as the church submits to Christ so also wives should submit to their husbands in some things in some things uh, in some things in everything <laughs> in everything before i explain this verse hear this out marriage is dying to self so that your spouse can live <laughs> marriage is dying to self so that your spouse can live if you think you're coming to be served to be pampered you're in the wrong place i'm not saying don't pamper each other or bless if that's your your foundation of marriage you're wrong somewhere for the son of man not come to serve but to but to not come to be, not come to be sad but to in the bible it says it's saying we love as christ has 
loved us. He is our our answer to loving. Another one. So why you submit your husbands as to the Lord? How do you submit to God? If you're right, if, if, for example, when you guys are courting and single, how do you submit to the Lord? By serving Him. Go kifi lama man every time. In Africa, go kifi lama. So we look kifi lama. Now God is to feel where the palm. Ama in Africa, what? You're supposed to submit to Him always. In fact, the Bible says, "Take up your cross and do what, and follow Me." Even laying down our lives. But their guys have been killed because of their faith. So Christ is equating you serving him to how you serve your husband. So in essence, you're laying down your life for him. Listen, most times we tend to overlook that part of the lady in marriage. You say, husband, husband, I lay down in the kujabu. But here Christ says, as you submit to him, submit to your husband. So it's like you're laying down your life for him. But there's a caveat that'll come to the caveat. And he says to the husbands, husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Even laying down his life for, which means I'm laying down my life so that my wife can live. That can only be God's love. A God love. So I say, you young people, spend time in prayer first. Spend time in the Bible. Let God enrich your heart with his muscles so that you're able to do these other things. Before you come here, you must go for, for dating. You need to come as Zico, courting, or buy your wife flowers, buy your husband this and this. It's okay, but the foundation has to be Christ. Then the rest stands on that thing. It, marriage is a good thing, trust me. Marriage is awesome. Marriage is powerful. If you follow God's commands, you do inanga katikati. Inanga gray area. Haki, tongi wakwili. You either joyfully loving each other in Christ or it's hell. There's either a dictator in the husband or a manipulator in the wife or they are serving each other in Christ. There's no in between. Nilawana. So say you don't blame court on a date. What 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 what's your what's your foundation? What do you want in marriage? Do you love Christ? Do you love Christ that deep enough to lay down his to lay down your life for him? Don't see your mali, mwaze kumia. What long put a one as I say condo? Don't get how many people are killing each other? How many? Because marriage is God's way, it's not our way. It's God's way. Start right now. So let's make sure we are valentine. That's the answer we love. What you can't do, just bring him. Let's first pursue Christ in His heart. We are His bride. Before we pursue men. Hello, we ladies, men, 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 men. Let's be men, bana. I era bana. No men at time by eighteen. I look at me. I'm seven, six, fourteen, six, eighteen. Look how long. I think I'm 18, I say, yeah, army. World War One, I'm World War Two. People only said as long as, as young as 15. So you go 45, 30, you go TikTok, and I shake the video with you. Bro. Let's be men, man. As in, be, I'm, I'm not saying be a, a, a chauvinist, I'm saying be a man, be a man of your word, be a man that is respectful, be a man that um, protects other people, including men, women, children. Be a man. Be strong, not Violent. By the way, in the call of talks women, women love strong men who take the lead. So just say my dictators. Strong men who take the lead. Oh na come up. By the way, if you, if women are always along you, around you, wanna make jokes now, bro, come over to Tangoja. A man that is a leader and strong and loving and kind, he attracts a certain type of women. And women, ladies, have boundaries. Do you have boundaries? 
Yuje mna court na mna date kuna boundaries. Yes. Na mshikanga wapi? Kwa magoti kama kwa kwa elbow, kwa kisogo. Where is your boundary? Where is the boundary? But we should have a talk on the boundary. Where is the boundary? Eh? Where is it? The first time you guys met, Memaliza, the first time you guys met, I'm sure, when you're on a corner date, William Salamian, Aka Kulega, Ata Bengi. No, he said hi, and maybe come Lega. Hi, Toko Magali, Aka Piti. Aka Piti. After a day, a two, a month, a year, depending on how fast or slow you guys are, he said hi, and you're like, hi. No capita, see you. Again, after a day, a year, sometimes hours, <laughs> or a month, or come salami hi, and then there's a way you guys say hi to someone, couple of Muzoyani. Yeah, you're an actor, I can use it. So the way they just hold your tip of your hand and say, hi, ata, 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 ishiki. I'm just Zoyana, I'm just Zoyana, I'm just Zoyana. And then after a while, a while, hi, I said, my same hi, da, hi, do you? Hey, ukoko, na up in the church. Ukoko, eh, ni makunona, the worship was good. Ah, bless you. Eh, ah, unaka, unaki, 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 ah, ni haja, hey, you're good, man. Eh, ukoko, so, napaka, hug, ni a shoulder, mnaishimia na bado. So, kibaru kule mishikani, you're good? That's the corners, kumumi, hey. Unayat, after, 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 So, after that, and then you come, there's this church hug. Ha, ha, you're doing good. I'm shikani kifua. Mmeokoka, yes, mibwana. So, if I'm shikani nini, there's a boundary badu. Hi, mna shikani na hivi, hi, you're good, ya nini, ya. Okay. A month again, two months, a year, depending again how fast, slow you guys are. Hi, you're good. So, hakuna space wapi? Kati, kati. Okay? I'm talking about guys who are courting right now. Or dating. Hi, hi. After one day, we don't go to me. Yes, I could start up to remember Michigan and Kono, Mna, Gaya, Nini. Yeah, so after one hug, one day out of the blue, if we speak the truth, must hear. But I think you're begging me to talk about it. Still, can expect like any see bad idea. Boss, the power of the flesh when fed with the worldly things. There's always two things fighting you, the spiritual man and the flesh. Every single they're fighting. What you feed grows. What you feed grows. Kidogo mnaka, kidogo. Back your lips. Kidogo kanisa. Kidogo kidogo, back kidogo. Mnaongea hug size ni tighter na ni longa. And you don't hug like this. Do you hug like this? You hug. And you are not static, they are doing, they are doing something. To one year, we're talking about purity. Go, 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 ah, ah, there's this movie at our place. Uh, we like, I like movies. Because I couldn't even talk about it's a Christian movie. Yeah, we can watch it. Yeah, we can watch it together. Go, 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 Yellow pages come, it's called body empty. Doki doko, kabla mjue, mkwa mna watch movie, sa mwuchi na wawoch. Taking new territories. Boss. And I think, I think one day we should have this talk on boundaries and sexuality. Because you know what, let, let me tell you something. Someone was saying, Ati, Alan, Ati, but hug is not a big deal. It's not a big deal. If it's not a big deal, Musamanga, it's not a big deal, you can do without it. Exactly. Doctor, I have an idea. Because there's something your body is getting from that hug. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be too religious. Yeah? There's a way that is created. There's a way men are created. Kuna type of how could you hug my friend? Who mono mama nengo na mawe? Ama tayo mono nengo na mawe? Ama mo kuka paka kumbu? Boss. Kuna type of men that nanya church. How about that is? How about this? The moment you ask how far is too far, you've already fallen. 
Musa maybe is not how far and it's stop asking how far I am to sinning. Uh, start asking how close I am, am I to purity. It's not the length of your skirt, it's the depth of your heart with the Lord. M- move your eyes from the body to Christ. If we want a bomb up, a bomb, a bomb in a depuka in the next five minutes. Nekilipuka, an area of 50 kilometers, people will die. Wambue, guy, get in this car and drive away from this place. How far will you drive? Utafika hapo kwa fortnight, hapo kwa fortnight nisema, hata niangalie kama inazafika hapo. Arifika hapo kwa 50. Ulala a thousand kilometers away, usikitu usito. Why do you want to go to, to sex as close as possible? Why do you want to go to sex as close as possible? What are you saving for your husband or for your wife when you get married? Hani mwenta kwa kazi gani? Una kusuma gazeti na kosha vyombo na mkoba Hamas. Bro, purity is king. Purity is king. Christ is king. These things you can enjoy them in marriage. Right now, relax. Work on yourself. Let the Lord work on you. Strengthen yourself. When the time comes, you say, I do. You're saying I do because the, the Lord Christ kept him or her for you and each other. Even in Nakuja, be careful. It's one day. It's a made up day with you. It's one day. So, sir, keep yourself holy and pure. If you may allow me, I think one day we should have a talk. Namen Pekiaki. A man talk to. How to arm ourselves with the armor of the Lord. But still be. But then, I'm not saying men. Be a romantic by the way. I'm not saying don't love women. Kuna difference here. Oh, go to. Usko to apa. Oh, go to. Aujui yani. Oh, go to. Man that date mother fungwa nini tango aje. Jose chapter two words. No, my friend. Focus. Get to know each other. Sasa. Okay. So I think let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we are thankful for this day. We bless you for this time, people. Lord, thank you that your grace is sufficient, O oh Lord. God, you are mighty, you are strong, you are loving, you are kind, but you are still, there is a wrath in you on sin, Lord. That only death can quench, O oh Lord. And I pray for these young people, Lord, even as in these seasons of courting and dating, O oh God, that purity shall be king, that righteousness shall cover them, O oh Lord, that your Holy Spirit shall be their guide. Lord, your word shall, they be, shall be their beacon of hope, O oh God. They shall seek you and can still be found. They shall spend time in prayer, in fasting, Lord, in, in worship, in praise. May their spiritual beings be lifted, be lifted up and enlightened to your word and to your things. May they set their minds on heavenly things and not on earthly things, O oh God. May they um, seek and pursue after your goodness and your mercies and your righteousness, O oh God. And all these things, other things, shall be given unto them as well, O oh Lord. May their focus be on you. For those who have been hurt, O oh God, may your comfort and peace be upon them, O oh God. For those who don't trust men or women, O oh Lord, may you give them a new heart. Refresh them, O oh God. Meet them at the point of need. For those who are frustrated, O oh God, give them peace and stillness. May they be still and know that you are God. Those who are courting and dating, may they walk in this walk in purity and in righteousness, O oh God. Those who are married, Lord, we say thank you this gift of marriage, O oh God. Continue working with us, O oh God. We love, we love our lives, our wives, as we love the church, O oh God. May your wives also not submit to us as they do to you, O oh God. All to the glory and honor of your name. We thank you and we bless you, Lord, for this we pray, believing and trusting in you.